Hey everybody, welcome to Strength Coach TV. I'm Anthony Rena. This is the show where we take you inside some of the country's best facilities, give you a tour, and then we sit down with the owners and we talk a little bit of shop. First, we're brought to you by Marigold Foods, marigoldbars.com. These guys have uh, given me the opportunity to continue to bring you these shows. Today's bar, oatmeal cookie, one of my favorites, kind of taking me back to when I was a kid. Uh, always loved the oatmeal cookies. Uh, Marigold bars though, awesome, non-GMO. No soy, uh, no gluten, no anything. You gotta keep them in the fridge because there's no preservatives and they taste good. That's the most important part. All right, today we're heading down to Berkeley Heights in, uh, in New Jersey to uh, Gabriel Fitness and we're gonna visit with my buddy Vince Gabriel. Uh, it's kind of cool to see Vince's, uh, we, we, this is the second time we're there. Uh, we've been there way back, I think it was five or six years ago when I first started. Vince and I had met at the Cosgrove, uh, the Results Fitness University Business and Fitness Mentorship and uh, we kind of hit it off and then I went down and filmed his facility but in that time he's really expanded his knowledge, his facility has grown, they moved it, you gotta see this place, it's beautiful. Let's just head down there, Berkeley Heights, New Jersey to Gabriel Fitness. Hey guys, welcome to Berkeley Heights. We are at Gabriel Fitness with Vince Gabriel. Vince, thanks for doing this again. We're My in, pleasure. Uh, we did this six years ago, we just figured it out. Has it been six Holy years? Oh, okay. it, it's, uh, I just saw Vanessa, she was pregnant with her first child at the time, it's crazy. Um, all right, so we're in a new location, so let's talk about this location. It's in the same town though, right? Same town, yep. Okay, uh, Berkeley Heights. Uh, what's the square footage here? This is 10, our last one was six. Nice, okay. And how long have you been here? Uh, since June. June? So not, uh, okay. not even a year. Yeah. Cool, wow. Um, and we're gonna talk about a little bit when we sit down, a little bit of that opening and some of the whatever struggles you had or construction yeah. or personal stuff that you had going on as well, I remember in August or September, right? Yep. Uh, so we'll talk about that and the importance of some of your business strategies that yep. this can actually help you with too. Um, okay, how many employees now? Uh, we have seven trainers and about four uh, four front desk uh, support staff, and then we have a marketer as well. Oh, you do have yeah. a marketer? Yeah, we have okay. a they handle social media and stuff? Yes, uh, social media, run our Facebook ads, uh, do a lot of our copy, and very you cool. know, handles our website. And things like yeah, that. yeah, very nice. Um, to talk about the member here, what's the profile? Because we're standing on some turf, right. and I know, I remember you were always working with athletes, yeah. that's how you started, yeah. uh, but you do have some general pop people too, so talk about the member profile. It's funny, I, well for your site, and, and Coach Mike's site, I just wrote an article about the split of 50-50 adults versus sports performance, yeah. and how that's kind of like the middle, and that's no man's land. Yeah. So we struggled with that for many years, so we made a shift, um, probably about four years ago, where we said, alright, we are going to be a general pop facility mm -hmm. that trains athletes. Okay. Versus before, we were kind of just both. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So now yeah. it's like, so if you look at this facility, it's, yes, we have the turf and stuff like that, yeah. but this is geared towards our market, which is 40 to 60 year old people looking to get healthy and lose weight. And that is our number one focus and our yeah. number one primary market right now. Yeah, and yeah. what's interesting too, and, and you said like that's that no man's land. So many people want to do that. They want to start out with the athletes and then they realize that they can't always make a living on that. And they, but then there, there's a problem. Who are you marketing to? Especially now with social media, what videos are you putting up? Are you putting up athlete videos and intimidating some of the other people? Or even like when we walk in here, I don't feel like I'm in this dingy kind of um, athlete, athletes, like it's all sweaty and smelly right, and right. right? So there's something to that. So very yep. cool. Yep. All right, well, let's uh, let's get a tour, man, because this place is huge. And <laughs> spot, so. Hey, guys, welcome to Gabriel Fitness. Let's get inside. All right, let's do this. Vince, this is kind of, is this area right here, I mean, is this kind of like an industrial park? I know we're on industrial road, but. This is industrial road, and it's kind of like a, 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 a complex that's really, really actually beneficial to our business. Like right down the road, there's a dance school. Okay. Like we're actually literally right next door. The behind us is like a batting cage place, and around the corner there's a martial arts place. So nice. even though it's like on industrial road, yeah. it's not like we're in the middle of like all these like tractor tires and like <laughs> things like yeah. that. It's actually a really, really great place to be. Um, we've actually, since we've moved here, gotten a lot of foot traffic from the moms dropping their kids off oh, at dance cool. school. So it's actually a really uh, good location. Nice. I have to give a shout out, uh, see this right here? That's a shout out to my, one of my really good friends in a guy named Paul Reddick, who I think, okay. who I think you know. Yeah, I know but he, he gave me that sticker 
And uh, it's actually been a really cool thing. It's you just did the hard part, we'll take it from here. Yep. But a lot of people will see that and you're like, oh, you're, you're right. It is about, you know, just getting here sometimes. I think sometimes. John Gaglione has that. I yeah, and well, John it, yeah, is yeah. in Paul's group yeah, and, yeah, you know, Paul Reddick is responsible for many brilliant ideas that we've had in this place. So, yeah, cool. yeah. All right. All right, so this is the, uh, the lobby. The uh, clients will come in uh, and they'll just come right to the front desk and check in. Uh, where's the iPad, Karen? We usually have an iPad. Yeah, yeah. So we usually have an iPad uh, that's here and there's, everything is already pulled up. There's a screen already pulled up that uh, has their session on there. Their name should be up here. They'll find their name and then they'll check in and that's how we can track uh, attendance uh, in that way, shape, or form. We have like little tables here. so. People can say, we had the idea of having like coffee and things like that originally, but it never really panned out. But people yeah. still do, they'll buy shakes and waters and they'll chill after yeah. the workouts and stuff. Very cool. Yeah, yeah and obviously yeah. yourself and some other. Uh, is this where, oh, this is kind of a little cubby for people. Yeah, that's for co uh, cubbies to put their stuff. And actually my wife who's standing behind that flower pot, I don't know why she's <laughs> hiding over there, but um, she, has, she has her own little retail business here. So she sells like these pants and they're not like branded, doesn't have like our logo on it, but they're like these women that we, we train a lot of women. So they love these like pants and she gets like new styles in all the time. So they're actually doing pretty well, selling a lot of clothes. Very cool. um, and then supplements are, are a big part of, of our back end sales too. So we sell a lot of protein powder. And actually this is probably one of our biggest sellers, the greens. We sell tons of the wellness greens and we get people to drink it like first thing in the morning. Cool. Um, so supplements are, you know, if you be I, I believe if you if you take supplements yourself, you believe in them, why not, you know, yeah. make some money doing it? Yep. Yeah. And that's uh, Karen. Hi. Say hey, Karen. Who's that little guy? Say oh. hi. All right. So this is the, uh, the, main, the main gym area. We're going to go in. Uh, do you want to go in here, Ant, first? Sure, yeah. yeah. Um, so we'll get here. So we run pretty much two, uh, a hybrid program. Most of the people that we work with are 40 to 60 year old uh, adults. And um, this is the Fat Blast room. So we have a group exercise uh, program called Fat Blast. It's 24 people. It's a little different than a lot of like boot camps that, that you see is our people are 40 to 60. And when they're 40 to 60, a lot of times they're hurt and they're injured. And body weight stuff for them is like really hard. So you notice machines, you'll notice like rowers and a ski erg and bikes and prowlers and everything that people can do where they're getting their heart rate up, that's not taxing, you know, their system too much, yeah. right? So they can really challenge themselves to get their heart rate up, but not doing things that are so taxing, you know, that they're going to get injured, you know, in the process. Yeah, so that's kind of like we've strategically made this program up for that age group. Very yeah. cool. And I see the number four here, uh, four bikes, four sleds, yep. uh, four rowers, four skiers. Yep. Also, um, this wall we were talking earlier was to kind of help a little bit with that idea about the athlete and the general pop. Yep. Just in case too, right? Yeah. And so the, the other thing it does, because there's a different energy in a group. So there's two things. There's small group, which is one and four which people probably understand. And then there's large group here. There's a different energy in the larger group than it is in the smaller group. Yeah. So when we close these doors, we have a totally different sound system in here nice. than we do in the other ones. And when you close the doors, you cannot hear anything that goes on. Actually, we, when we have our mentorship, we actually have the mentorship in here and we have sessions going on in there and you can't hear a thing. Oh, that's awesome. It's really cool, yeah. So, um, and then same thing with athletes now, if we have like an athlete thing going on in the afternoon, um, like around like that 5.30 time, we can punch a bunch of athletes in here and not have any crossover with the adults. So it's a total separate environment um, cool. that, that really, really helps. Nice. So, yeah. So that's the, that's the large group. We, 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 we do, we cap it at about 24 people in okay. here. And that's why you see this, the, the stations of four yeah. as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, and this is the main gym area. When people come in, they'll usually grab some type of a, a foam okay. roller and you know, they'll just kind of this kind of general area here. Oh, right in here. Yeah, right in this general area here. And, and here's the thing, well, we love everyone to come early and foam roll. Yeah, does everyone do it? No, uh, but we, we know the shit. Actually, they have pictures on the wall to tell them what to do. I'm sure a lot of people have yeah, seen that very before. Cool. Very cool. Kind of give an idea of, because uh, you know, they're always asking for I don't know why they use those ugly guys in the work in the in the pictures. They should have I know. used my wife or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the gym's kind of set up in a pretty strategic way, and I have to thank Thomas Plummer for kind of helping out with the system. But you can kind of see it's like there's almost a lot of mini gyms in here. So if you kind of come, you can see all right. There's you know a rack 
and then there's a set of kettlebells, a set of dumbbells, a set of power blocks, boxes, you know, one of those Bulgarian pads. And then there's the same thing over there, the same thing over there, the same thing over there. So when it's one coach and four people, there's almost like four gyms where you have, um, you know, these like mini gyms going on okay, yeah. where all the equipment is there in one spot. And we actually even labeled it colored so that the equipment doesn't cross. So this is like yellow. So if someone like picks up and does like lunges or something, they know to put it back in the yellow one. And now, cause we had some issues with that. Like people putting, all of a sudden there'll be like no weights here and all the weights will be over there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> the colors that you gotta like find stuff on the fly to make it, it's yeah, it's pretty funny. Um, and some of the stuff we've, 99% uh, uh, of the equipment in here is from Perform Better. Uh -huh. um, we did do some, a couple homemade things, like we had to get that homemade, because that's oh, yeah. a, 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 yeah. the chin-up bar that had to go between the, uh, yeah. they, they drilled right into the beam. There's like a metal beam inside there. So they drilled right into the beam. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So. Nice. Okay, so now again, these are the other stations over here. Yeah, so it's like, that would be like station one, so you can see rack, dumbbell, kettlebell, you know, rack. Uh, those, they will, this, this uh, we call them pods, yeah. but this, this area will share the, the, some of the kettlebells and dumbbells. And you have that one right there that uses that one. Yeah, what's, Tom, um, so. what's going on with Tom right now? Here? So uh, behind me, uh, this is all the trainers of one of the guys, uh, Kyle Newell, who's a, who's a coach in my, ma uh, in my mastermind. Okay. Um, one of the things we offer to our mastermind members is having their team come in and learn from us most of the things they learn from me is about business, about systems, sales, yeah. and marketing. But they, they also want their staff to learn more about the training side. So Tom's doing like an in-service right now with all of the trainers of Kyle's gym. Very cool. So they're here for the day. Um, and the, the cool thing with Tom is like, Tom just spoke at Idea in Virginia, and he's like now getting to, he's, he's pretty much our head trainer and he runs the show. Yeah. But he's getting a lot of opportunities to teach now too in the industry, yeah. so it's really cool to see Very him that, cool. doing that, yeah. Um, yeah, and I like the way you guys, you put like, again, with this turf here for some sled, like so, so the common area between the pods, and especially with kind of the built-in uh, uh, ladders here. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. And everybody's kind of sharing uh, the cable machine as well. Yeah, you just, so you almost think about like each cable machine is strategically put in the middle of each area. Okay. So like that area would use that arm. We very rarely will do two, we pretty much never do two things at once. Like we're not doing a lot of like cable yeah. crossover yeah. stuff. Um, so like each area will, will have one handle. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So like this is in the middle here and that one's in the middle there. Yep. So. Cool, let's check out some of the other rooms here. All right. Check out Vanessa's room. You want to check out Vanessa's room? Oh, you got the my zone on your Yeah, we got, yeah, that's separate, so people can use it uh, on both sides, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, but the separate sound systems has been huge. Yeah. yeah. So this is my my wife, Vanessa. Did you get to get her in the picture, Anthony? I did. Either. Oh, man. You know, I oh. respect her wishes. <laughs> uh, but this is, she had like a little, I think last time she had like this little closet. Yeah. So we, we built this really nice room out for her. Um, and it's good because a lot of times people come in and, you know, some people are, are either like they're banged up or they have like bad knees or they're overweight and they really, they need to kind of get off their feet for a little bit. So this has been like a good feeder system if someone can't train. And some people just aren't into the fitness side and th this is really, uh, so it's kind of allows us to take on more people to be able to do something it's like this. It's not a separate business though, right? It's not a separate business, it's within, but it's not included. Okay. So a membership, yeah. we have specific, I guess we can go over membership yeah, options, yeah. but this is like a separate add-on that they would add on. Okay, yeah. great, yeah. great, cool. And any other uh, people teach him besides Vanessa? Or? Yeah, we have one other uh, okay. instructor. Yeah, cool. yeah, that's just that, yeah. Uh, so let's go back here. This is just a treatment room. We have a chiropractor uh, that comes in uh, that rents the room. Okay. Cool. Nice. So pretty cool. basic. We also do, that's a, the straps on that table are uh, for fascial stretch therapy where you put your legs under the straps. Yeah, I remember, uh, was, did, did Vanessa? Vanessa, yeah, yeah and, she she and she still does it now. Okay, cool, yep. cool. So this is a consult room. This is like a really, this is probably the most important room in the gym. Every new member we sit down and meet with and there's some very 
strategic things about this room. You can see like the success stories. So the yellow chair, Yeah. you'll have to come to my lecture at Perform Better to learn about the yellow chair. Okay. But the yellow chair, the client always sits in the yellow chair and then they're facing the member success stories. Very cool. And so the person running the consult, they have this binder, which has all kinds of different case studies. So if we have someone that's like, all right, this mom that wants, we will now turn to that page to show a person that like them, that's like had, them. That's had awesome. success. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we have that binder and then we have all the books that we've produced. Those are all the different books that we've written as a gym. Nice, nice. And uh, so it's just, it's just a kind of a, a credibility thing. And then you're looking out onto I, the floor. Yeah, I really yeah. love the window. Uh, that's brilliant yeah. because I feel like you know you're separated, but at the same time you can kind of feel the energy from the other room with those consults. Cool. Yeah, and this is just a, a conference room. When we, uh, I had one of my mastermind members in this morning, and we just had a, a three-hour meeting okay. to go over some stuff there. So cool, and you can yeah. do some staff stuff in there as well, right? Yeah, yeah, we that we would do staff meetings as well. Okay, but, yeah. cool. Nice. Um, oh yeah, show us that locker room. Yeah, okay. okay. Yep. Because you got some more stuff in there, which is important when you're at this, when you're this big. You have laundry right back. There. Yeah. Kitchen. Well, the, well, for nine years before we had, uh, my wife would do all the towels. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. So oh, like, this is your office, that's right? my office. Yeah. Okay, cool. I try and keep it pretty bare bones. Yeah. So I like this. You know, this is part of building this whole culture here, right? Yeah. I mean. Showing, showcasing members, and and you know it's it's awesome. People love that stuff. Yeah, love to feel like they're part of something. So good stuff. Oh, and another treatment room here. That's okay. another treatment room. Yeah, cool. Michelle does a lot of stretching in there. Yep. Yeah. And then, um, so back here is uh, locker rooms. You have showers in here. Yep. A uh, lot men's locker room, women's locker room here. Uh, this is the sports performance bathroom. Okay. So kids aren't allowed to use the real locker rooms. Oh! If you're a kid, you go into the crappy bathroom. Nice. So tr trainers and kids got to use this bathroom. Nice. There so. You go. <laughs> cool. cool. I didn't hear. Uh, yeah, and that's just like a laundry and yeah. refrigerator and yeah. cool. Staff but that, kitchen. those are important yeah. things. Yeah. When you're starting to get, when you're this big and you want to have, like, you have that many people on yeah. staff, these are things that you know you need to have room for. So very yeah. cool. All right, let's go sit down. We'll talk some business. Awesome. All right, Vince. Very cool. Thanks for the tour. Um, Loving the new space, uh, it's awesome. I gotta give you the gold seal of Marigold Foods. They're sponsoring us now, Marigold Protein Bars. Uh, that's a magnet, I say. Oh. <laughs> um, but uh, these, uh, a little gift from them, uh, it's just some sample uh, protein bars and snacks. These guys, it's awesome, they're really good. I mean, I, I went through my allotment I go in half the month. I mean, I'm supposed to, I have like two a day, it's bad, it's hard. Two a day? Well, sometimes, cause I'm, you know, I just, I see them there and I love them and I grab them, so. So that's for you. Thank you so uh, much. <laughs> we'll leave it there. Um, so let's talk, I didn't, uh, we didn't talk a little bit before uh, in the opening segment about the member, like what types of yeah. membership, what's the entry level, give us a rundown. Yeah, everyone starts uh, with a 30 day trial. That's kind of our, what we call evergreen Free? offer. Uh, no, it's oh, paid. Okay. Uh, we charge $199 okay. uh, for, for the trial. Yep. And then um, we'll call, uh, two to three times a year, we'll do some type of a, a, a challenge, which brings in you know a larger amount of people. But really, most of the time, we're you know just churn and burn, you know, slowly, you yeah. know, th you know, getting those new memberships every month. Yeah. Um, and then after that, uh, we do something different on our price sheet, which a lot of people like are like, "Wow, that's actually really cool." Um, we only show the twelve month membership on the price sheet. Okay. So when we show, well, and we call it, we don't call it price sheet, it's an investment sheet, yes. right? Okay. So, um, it, but when we show it, there's like, just like very clear color coded boxes. There's not a lot of options. Um, and it's all for annual memberships. And then we do offer a month to month option as well. And that's like in small fine print, if they want to do month to month that, um, they, they would just add 20%. Uh, to okay. that. So that's, so it's like, but I think that that's showing like, just the 12 month prices is something that really just says, okay, that's what most people do here. Cause that's why. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, also there's this idea. I remember uh, El Elias uh, Scar from results fitness was talking to me about um, the amount of choices, right? If you have 20 choices, yeah. you don't pick anything. You're like, oh, I gotta go home and talk to my wife. Yeah. But it was like, Hey man, I offered at five iron was this three month or 12 month. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. None. There wasn't any two times a week, three times. It was all unlimited. It was like, Hey, Here's your options. You only have one of two. Well, we, we met in California. Did, yeah, we met. Have you ever been to In-N-Out Burger? 
Not together. I've been there. No, I'm saying, I'm asking if you've ever oh, been there. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's like, I've always like, since, because I lived in San Diego for many years. That's right. And I was like, okay, I want my business to be like In N Out Burger. It's like, all right, you go to McDonald's and you buy, look at all these different things. And you can get the fish and you get the chicken, get this, where you In N Out, it's like there's so few options and they can just get those, make those things really, yeah. really good. So that's kind of how I, I always viewed it is just simplicity. It's just keeping yeah. it simple. So very cool. Yeah. Um, let's talk about that decision to go to move. Yeah. Because you were starting to get pretty big. We were talked about like you were doing stuff outside. We ended up last show. We'll have a link to that. Uh, <laughs> we were we were in the parking lot because you were doing some stuff out there yeah. and everything, right? Uh, talk about what went into the decision to like. Okay, we're gonna get up and move. It's in the same town at least. Yeah. It's, you know, there were times of the day where we were busting at the seams and there was, uh, we had two distinct different programs that we saw before the larger group training and the small group training and the energy was very different in the, in yeah. the two. And when they were kind of almost in the same room, it was very hard to have that yeah. distinction of the energy. Yeah. Um, so that was, that was one reason. Uh, the second region, this was a very strategic location because kind of what I talked about earlier outside is we're almost like, this is almost like retail space for me. Yeah. Because if you look at it next, the, the, our target market is all over this complex. Parents yeah. are driving up yeah. to this place every, and so it's like, and we're, we are off the beaten path. So we're paying an off the beaten path price, Excellent. but really getting exposure exactly from the people that we really want, which we probably couldn't even get at a storefront. Yeah. You yeah. know, like if you go to the storefronts, you're gonna pay five times as much around here, and you're not gonna get as much qualified walk by traffic as you would down here. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's, that's one of the other, so it was, a, it was kind of a strategic location move yeah. more than anything. And oh. just so happened that, um, you know, the, the, it, it happened to be a lot more space and we, we did get to build this out. Um, this was vacant for like seven years. Oh really? Which helped in negotiation. Okay. So yeah, very yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so let's talk about some of the challenges that you're seeing, you know, you, you have your mentorship now. Yeah. Um, and where can people find out about that anyway? I, I think vincegabriel.com okay. is where most of that, they can get in touch with me there. Okay. That's, and where all our cool. stuff is, yeah. To that. So, um, but you know, you're seeing a lot of these trainers coming in, people with businesses, you're helping a lot of people now, and you're seeing a lot of different situations. Plus you did a lot um, of your own, like you went as a student to Cosgrove's and Rigby's yeah. and, and all of the people Everything. that were out. You went, you yeah. did everybody. So um, what are some things you're seeing? Because here's the thing, you had some family stuff that came up last year over the summer yeah. that was important for you to have your systems in place. So, But talk to us about some of the challenges you think people are out there they need, they need help with in their business. Yeah, I mean, I think that one, I, I, I talk about this a lot, in my, I, and I started a podcast thanks to Anthony Renna. <laughs> so we talk about it a lot on, the, on our podcast, but so it's, that hasn't been released yet. <laughs> but we've recorded a lot of episodes. So, um, so I look at it as the, uh, the gym owner is like um, pushing this really big shopping cart like down the street, yeah. right? And that's like signifies the business, right? And so like, as you're pushing it down and then in the beginning, right? When you're fired up, you're motivated, you got lots of energy and then you're pushing the shopping cart and like nothing can stop you. This thing is going and everything's great. And like you think you start adding things into the shopping yeah. cart, right? You got more clients, you got more bills, you got more things like that, but it's still you pushing the shopping cart, right? And the entrepreneur, the business owner, the gym owner can only push that shopping cart for so long before they start to get really, really tired and fatigued. Yeah. And I think the biggest problem is people are still stuck pushing that shopping cart all by themselves because things are getting bigger and things are getting, you know, uh, 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 more at stake too. Because the other, here's the other thing too, as people get older, so when I met you, I had no kids. Yes. Flash forward six, six years later, I now have a nice mortgage. All right, and I have three children and I have a wife. So it's like, uh, there's a lot more in my shopping cart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, there's a lot. So as life starts coming, things start to get heavier and more important. If we don't set our business up to be able to run without us pushing that cart down the road all the time, yeah. things start really catching up to us. Yeah. So that's like one of the things, and that's like a very like big picture thing. Um, that I that, that that I see is the inability to remove yourself from the business 
to be able to con and be able to, con con to continue to grow. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying people like need to like totally remove themselves out of their business like I have. Um, I'm purposely doing that so I can you know do stuff like you know coach my mastermind members and run my mentorships and yeah. things like that. Um, but I, I think that you got to be able like you mentioned you know my family problems. So like my dad had a stroke you know in August and like but took over my life. I wasn't able to come here. I w wasn't here for like almost three months. Wow. And if I didn't have a business that could run without me, that now I have my my dad that's pretty much dying, and uh, my business is dying at the same time too. Yeah, no. And that didn't happen. So it's like that. Uh, you know, it, it took years you know of hard work to get there. But I think it was a focus of all right. What do I need to do? Who do I need to hire? Uh, what systems do I need to put in place to get this thing to run without me having to push it down the road all the time? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's funny because uh, somebody had asked me if I had to do it all over again. You know, I sold my gym last year and, and they said, if you had to open a gym again, what would you do? I said, you know, I'd probably start out with two trainers, even if I didn't have any business. I'd like six months payroll and, <laughs> and you know, and an assistant and with, with the two trainers because, um, I, I, I would know I have to grow into that. I didn't need to push into that. And then I could work on the business, not in the business. Yeah. And obviously that's what you're in. So you said it's a big picture of thinking, but you have to think like that right away. You have to think with the end in mind a lot of times too. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's really important to be able to do that. Yeah, the whole the whole on the business thing is, uh, it's, it's a hard concept to grasp as a trainer because you know, like the in the business is so easy, right? You just show up and you're the star, right? Yeah. You do the work and then you're done and then you go home, you're exhausted, you pass out and then you come back and do it again. But then all of a sudden when you have more people, you know, doing the work, it's now, all right, now what do I do? Well, I got to work on the business. So one challenges your body. The other one challenges your brain. Working on the business is a total uh, challenge to the brain. So that's why like the more I do this stuff, uh, the more I just have to take care of my like body and brain because that's yeah. like the one weapon you have, yeah. right? The weapon you have is, is your ability to think. And I think that, you know, I, I'm working very hard every day to protect my ability to continue to think clear and think better um, because I know that's what's going to kind of move the business down the, down the field is not me going in and doing the work is me thinking about what ideas we can create to be able to push it down the field more. Yeah, and, and what's interesting too, you say that is, what I, I always kid around with people, I said, you know, I had to sell my gym to get in shape. You know? <laughs> yeah. um, because, um, you know, you start to get in this, this, this routine of, you know, then you just, you just want to go home, right? Because yeah. you've been, you know, instead of just training or seeing some people, now I had to stay and I had to maybe do the books and do some other things and think about marketing. But Well, the, like, the funny thing is I told someone I was going on the show today and they know I had did it and it's like, oh, you're doing the show just 50 pounds lighter this time because yeah, I think see? I was a little chunky the last time. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> it happens to everybody yeah. in this business. Um, but, um, but yeah, I think um, I like with you and I, I like, uh, Tom, I've become pretty good friends with Tom as well. The best. We, we, he's such a great guy, Tom Langton. And, and you know, we, we see each other at the, the Crash Bees and we did a kettlebell certification together. Um, but Tom's such a great guy and he's knowledgeable. And now you're able to elevate a guy like that. But I also think it's important to have these other revenue streams to be able, and Coach Boyle does this really well with like, you know, straightcoach.com and Body by Boyle, and he takes on his partner CSFC, um, where, you know, you now can give Tom a little bit more work because it's hard to keep a guy like Tom. Yeah. How do you do that? How do you, what's your, your, your philosophy? Or how do you teach gym owners and trainers to kind of be able to, this is the number one problem with, with this bit, with any business, is, is staff. So yeah. how do you keep your employees? So here, here's the thing, uh, I, I know, and this is, you're never gonna be able to keep everybody. Yeah. So that's the thing is I think in the beginning I tried to do this and I think a lot of people try and do this. If they try and they have this like good core of people and they try and like give everyone this great career opportunity and unless you're going to open up multiple facilities, you can't, it's hard, very hard to do. I yeah. think if you are, if, you're, if, you're, if your goal is to open up multiple facilities, then yes, you got to groom those people to be able to do that. But if your goal is to open one and have one successful facility, you don't, there's not enough room. There's not enough like margin in these businesses to be able to have three toms. We just can't, yeah. we just can't do it. So I think you got to find the people that you know. Uh, so I look at Tom is a guy that Tom runs the show essentially. You know, he was the head trainer for a long time, you know, but now he's really stepping up as what we call the integrator. And the integrator is the guy that manages the marketing, the sales, the operations and the finance. 
So he's looking at all those things and he's making sure all those things are getting better. So he's now at a point where he's still doing some coaching, but not as much, yeah. but now he's a leader. And now my job is to make you know him a better leader. So I think going back to the original question is how do you do that a guy like Tom, you got to study leadership, right? And the job is to turn that person into a better leader. Cause I really don't think leadership is about one person leading. Like, yeah, like maybe you're a good leader. The key to leadership is, can you make someone else a good leader? Yeah. That's where I look at it. It's that second tier that I think you got to really uh, focus on. And here's the thing. It is not easy. Yeah. It's not easy. And I don't think that it was easy. It's taken us 10 years to groom Tom, yeah. you know, to be able, and, and honestly, we weren't even grooming him for the first five years. First five years, we didn't know what the hell we were doing. We were yeah, just working, yeah. like, you know, like we we're just working. That's um, like, let's finish up with just kind of a lot of times, you know, we think, uh, and we know it's true is, you know, bigger place, bigger headache, right? Yeah. Um, what's, has there been a bigger headache or has it been kind of a smooth transition? Has it been just kind of like, wow, thank God we did this because now we have the room to do the mentorships. We are able to separate the demographics, uh, which we were talking about earlier, being able to separate those demographics important. Has it been a bigger headache or? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I mean, here's the thing, like, it's more expensive and harder to keep it clean. Okay. And that's something that's like yeah. hard, that know that, so the, the amount of rent that we are paying relative to the square footage we have is not like double. Yeah. So like our square footage doubled, but our rent didn't double. Okay. Yeah. So I, I probably wouldn't have done it if that did happen. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, I, but I do think like keeping a, a 10,000 square foot facility clean, as clean as we really want to keep it, yeah. because that's something too. It's like when we, when we visited the old place and we were kind of that very sports performance, we didn't care as much about yeah. keeping it clean. It was almost like this, you know, badge of honor of like, oh, it's a little dirty in here, thing. which, which I think is the about, stupidest yeah. thing ever. I really do. I think like the fact that I thought that is like, I just want to punch myself in the face <laughs> for thinking that, but it's like people, if you're training adults, especially 40 to 60 year old adults, they don't want to work out in a, in a crappy place. No. They don't want to work out in a place that's clean. If they want to go work out in a dirty gym and, and plumber always talks about like one of the reasons why people leave gyms is that it's dirty, Yeah. you know? So we have, we've made a really big, emphasis to keep this place Disney type clean and it's expensive and yeah. it's hard and we've already then we're six months in or eight months in and so we've already had to touch up the walls and the paint and things like that yeah. so I think like there's more headaches kind of like that yeah but okay. you know it's it's not you know it, it was a, it was a really good strategic move so since we've moved we've seen an uptick you know in the uh, the lead flow that we have not only because our marketing has improved but from the surrounding areas you know as well yeah. so yes yes and no and you, you get know? the feeling when you do walk in the place is immaculate and uh, like I, I learned from the bar business a long time ago, uh, didn't worry so much about the men's bathroom, but the women's bathroom. If you have a bad women's bathroom, they're out. They're not coming back. So yeah. it had to be super clean. Yeah. Uh, so so yeah, especially when you have like when you make a decision in a gym to have showers, because not everybody you know has to have showers. But and here's some showers. here's some really good business advice. Have have one of your family members train at your gym. My sister. My sister trains at the gym. She comes every day. Okay. okay. If there is a speck of dust anywhere, she is like storming to the front desk and telling her, just put it dirty. Like, and she is like, she's, but she, there are a lot of people that don't say what they think. Yeah. And you need people in your, and it doesn't have to be a family member, but you need people that are going to tell you the truth. Cause you yeah. can kind of walk through your gym and be like, all right, everything's great. Everything's looking awesome. It's looking good in here. And they don't see the dust on the bottom of the prowler and yeah. the little things like yeah. that. So yeah, it's a little it matters. Like that, uh, the, the uh, broken windows yeah. Yeah. Uh, theory, right? Yeah. Where, you know, okay. And there's one towel out right now, but then once there's two and then there's some dust and then all of a sudden people are just throwing the wrappers, they're marigold protein bar wrappers on the floor. <laughs> Good yeah, plug in there. Yeah. You're getting good yeah. at this, yeah. All right. Well, Vince, thanks so much for Pleasure. the tour and you know, giving us some of your wisdom about this stuff. And uh, thank we'll you, find everybody. Get the link down if you, if you need some help with your gym. Vince is the man. So appreciate brother, it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Awesome.